Okay, so let's first see how we can install Symfony CMS. Now here on the homepage you can grab the zip package, but this package contains some predefined uh, files, templates and configurations and whatnot. So we're just going to go to the git and download the clean zip package from there. And this is because I want to show you how to do everything from scratch so that you don't have any questions and doubts about it later. So I'll just copy all of this to my desktop for now. And let me just name this flower shop. Like so. Okay. Um, I am using easy PHP uh, for my web server. So I'm just going to open my administration. And I, I recommend this if you don't have any lo local host development environment that you install PHP, uh, easy PHP, and I recommend that you use version 14.1 because it's uh, the newest version is kind of uh, not so simple anymore. Okay, so let's add an alias. This is just so that I can create a nice uh, accessible URL from my desktop so that I don't have to put my uh, site files in some uh, predefined directory. So I'll just call this flower shop, like so. Excellent. And the next next thing we need to do is create a MySQL database. So let's do this just now. We'll also call this flower shop and let's choose UTF-8 for our collation. Okay. Um, that should be everything we need. So we can now click on this link over here and we'll get to the Symfony installation page. Now here we can name our website, so let's name it again just Flower Shop. And here we can choose the administration path, so so let, let's call it uh, Secret or something like that. So you can just customize how you get to our administration uh, panel here. So here we can choose region. I'm in Zagreb. So that should be here. Date format. And uh, let's choose the proper date format, which is this one. And also military time. You don't have you can configure this any way you like. This is just my preference. And um, now we need to give our um, uh, database information. So we have created a flower shop database. Uh, username for my local host is root on your if you're moving this to the production server then it will be a little bit different and password is blank for my local host server by default so yeah uh, here are some more advanced configurations if you if you need multiple installation of symphony CMS on a single database then you should change this prefix and make it different for each instance of symphony and uh, yeah, th this you should probably leave these permissions as they are. And now we just choose our username and password and just some details for our uh, administrator. There. Okay, and after we are done, we can just simply click Install Symphony. And it should install fairly quickly. Okay, so as you can see, the floor is ours, and let's go to the login page. And as you can see, here's our path that we've chosen for our administration, which is secret. So now we can just log in here and uh, yeah, we can get to our administration page. Now we also get the warning that we have our installation directory still on the server. So we should just remove it and we should be mostly secure then. Okay, so this is how we install Symfony. Uh, in the next video, we'll start creating some database uh, sections.